Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to open up this package. I think it's my fish scale. And uh, sorry about the noise behind me, but I got the air conditioner on because it's very hot out. So let's get this opened up. Okay guys, this came in really early. It wasn't supposed to be here until like Saturday, so I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up here. And we're going to try it out and see how well it works. Yep, that's what it is. Pretty cool. It's supposed to do 110 pounds, I do believe. So, it does, let me see. Okay, it's got a blue, where you at? A blue backlight function, tear function, auto power off, data lock function, overload indication, low battery indication, it's powered by three three volts it's uh two triple a batteries i got some if it didn't come with any uh high precision strain gauge sensor system capacity uh 10 kilograms five grams 20 kilograms five grams 40 kilograms 10 grams whatever Okay, whatever that means. But I do know it will do. Cool, oh, it does come with the batteries. This was cheap. This was like eight bucks. Seven something, eight bucks. Uh, it will do. Uh, let's see if we get these instructions open here. Wow, it's got a temperature test. I'll have to read all this stuff up here. And, um... I'm not seeing it, but it does have... It does, uh, what is it? Kilograms, ounces, and... Uh, pounds. So... Wow, it feels, uh, feels pretty nice. Feels really nice. Here we'll get a screenshot of this thing, right? Okay. That pops out. And alright, let's uh let's put the batteries in it. Now the real test of course will be when we go out fishing with it, which will be soon. Now, unfortunately, this will not help us catch fish, but it will, however, help us measure the fish that we do catch. So, Batteries are in. And it's on. Stare. All right, unit. There's kilograms. There's pounds. What the fuck was that? Something just. Made a real weird noise over here in the bush. That was weird. There's ounces. I do like the backlight, so I can see at night, night fishing, so. And I'm not sure what that is. Like I said, I have to go over it. And so, there's pounds. We'll put it on pounds. Let's see. I 
I don't know if it remembers it or not, but. Okay, but what we're gonna do is, I've got a gallon of water over here. And uh, we're gonna weigh it. I've got some, I looked this stuff up so we can get close. Of course, you know, cold, like frozen water is going to weigh a little more than room temperature water. And uh, like uh, in the U.S., a gallon, I got this on my phone here. A gallon is 128 fluid ounces or 3.785 liters. In the U.K., a gallon is 160 fluid ounces or 4.5 five four six liters okay so I mean everything there, there's gonna be some variables but uh, US gallon of water weighs around 8.33 pounds or 3.78 kilograms at room temperature so now also like this you know I, I you know I don't know where a gallon where they're measuring a gallon from this is one gallon uh, it says one gallon or 3.785 liters. Now, where do they fill it to? I got this filled up with water. Okay. Where do they fill it to? So we're going to call it around eight pounds. Okay. And then we'll check it and see what, what the gauge says, like in kilograms or whatnot. So let me bring you up here a little bit. Okay. So we're going to get our little tester here let's open this up i'm going to hook it around these tie straps and let's see what it says i don't know if you guys can see that see it says 9.2 pounds ish so i might have like filled it up more than what they usually do so now we'll hit the tear button and we'll go to let's go to kilograms. Let's see what it weighs. Four kilograms ish. Four point one. Cool. So it should be pretty close. What's the ounces? Hundred and forty six ounces. Uh, so it's more than what I'm supposed to be whew, lifting anyway and you, you know you got your on and off button now like I said if you really really want to get precise on this thing you know where where do you measure where you know I mean because it's going to weigh different different temperatures it's going to weigh different um so i mean you just hang this up and you fill this up until it's you know about what it should be or what um but for weighing fish it's going to be okay i mean i don't see an issue you know what i mean yeah i wish it would have a memory to where it would stop you know as soon as you took the pressure off i don't know if i can get it to do that let me read it and see okay guys so it does have a weight lock on it you hold the tear button for two seconds. There it's off. The L stands for lock. Now let's turn it on. Hold it for two seconds. Now it's on. Also, this will give me the temperature, but it only gives it to me in Celsius. I'm in the United States, so. <laughs> but let's see what the temperature is. We hold the unit button for two seconds. And it is 23 degrees Celsius okay so now that we got the lock on let's weigh this water again and a lock should appear up in the corner and it did and now it stayed whoops I should have stayed it did so it's 9.14 
nine pounds will be 14 ounces so there it is now it's supposed to have a buzzer I was reading this it says something about a, a buzzer and then to weigh something else you just hit your power button it clears it uh, you hold the tear button for two seconds and it'll turn the weight lock on or off and then the unit button for two seconds and it will um, it will tell me the temperature um, there's really not much more about it but it does say something about the uh, power on put the scale in a vertical position without weight in the hook press on off key the screen will display shoot <clears throat> uh 8888 eight, eight, and the buzzer will utter the sound of hint which it didn't do that shut this off so it says it's supposed to it's supposed to have a buzzer now, I don't hear a buzzer so but as long as it measures okay I'm good with that I shouldn't be. I mean, I know it's only eight bucks, but damn, you know, come on. If it's supposed to do it, I want it to do it. But so yeah, there's not a whole lot about it. And then it says wait two to three seconds until the you know zeros come up, displaying the screen, uh, displaying on the screen the scale will be ready for weighing. And then it tells you about the tear zero. Put the container on the hook when weighing bulk goods press tear key and the screen will display 0, 0.00 or 0, 0.000 uh, the scale is ready for weighing put the goods to the container the screen will display the weight of the goods only after finishing okay and then again it tells me about the weight lock I just showed you guys that Hook in the goods after the scale is ready. Max weight shall not exceed full load plus 90. So, so uh, the screen will display an O-LD, which is overload. And buzzer will warn when it's overloading. But I don't have a buzzer, so I, I mean it's not buzzing I don't I don't know why but the scale will hold the weight of the goods automatically the buzzer will utter the sound of hint and display hold or the lock symbol which we got in the L on mode so That's uh That's it. Temperature test. Press unit key for 2 seconds. The temperature will appear on the screen. The tolerance of temperature is plus or minus 2 degrees so Celsius. So it's it's only in Celsius. Uh That's pretty much it. Let me see what what did we say it was? Twenty let's check that again. Uh twenty what was it? Twenty two degrees Celsius, okay? Let me see what that is for sure. Well, alright, twenty three degrees. Okay. I'm gonna check it. Okay guys. I can tell you right now the temperature thing is way off because if you can see the temperature it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit but it's saying 23 degrees Celsius is 73.4 degrees in Fahrenheit it's a lot hotter than that out here so I don't know you know I'm not gonna be using that using that at all because that's just way off I will use my phone when I can but yeah so there you go let's do our final thoughts and like I said there's going to be more uh, you know uses of this and we'll update it as we're using it out in the field okay guys so there you go um, this 
just one of the cheapest digital ones I could find. Um, it just says electronic portable scale. I don't know what company it is. Uh, let's see here. We've got another little booklet here. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you. Your purchase made our day. We hope this package makes yours. Well, the buzzer don't work. See, i got to be looking at it. I mean, you're supposed to be able to hold it, and then the buzzer will sound when it locks on, but it doesn't. So, I guess, uh, I, I don't know. There's a couple different, there's like four, there's four different, they're from Pennsylvania. There's four different uh, websites on here. But, I, like I said, it doesn't really give me a manufacturer name or anything like that on it. So, I don't know. I can't tell you that. I just, you know, just looked it up on the internet and found the cheapest one. So, you know, eight bucks. I wish it worked the way it's supposed to. Uh, I wish the temperature worked. Um, you know, it says you got to hold it vertical. I'm going to turn it on. And there should be a buzzer sound. And it didn't. And then, like I said, you hold the unit button for two seconds and it gives you the temperature. And that temperature is way off. It's like 10 degrees off. So this should be reading what? At least 42, 43 Celsius? Uh, right? No? 70? No. No, I'm wrong about that. It should be reading higher than that because it's 88 degrees out here. This thing's saying it's 75 something. So it should be reading higher than that. Um, I don't know. Maybe at least 10. Yeah, it should be reading 10 degrees higher. So it should be reading 33 degrees Celsius in there, whatever. But it's supposed to shut off on its own after a couple minutes if you don't use it. So, I don't know. It'll be all right just to measure the fish, or to weigh the fish we catch. Um, you know, by law, you don't go by weight. You go by the length of the fish. But we just like to know how much they weigh instead of just guessing. You know, that's about three pound, two pound, whatever. Monkey likes to know when she catches them big catfish how much they weigh. So now I'll be able to tell her with um, some degree of accuracy. It seemed to work all right. It was pretty close on that jug of water. Like I said, I don't know. Um, when this was full of thinner, I think it was filled to about right here. So I got a little bit more water in it. So that would, that would, uh, you know, cause a little discrepancy. So we're talking, what, about eight pounds-ish is what that weighs. So it's pretty close. Um, that was reading nine pounds. Like I said, I, I could have put them, uh, you know, it doesn't take much to make a pound of water. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos of this thing when we catch fish, more fish to weigh it. So that being said, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Golf for now, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care and be safe. Bye-bye now.